Hello everyone, Amy here. Today I want to do a novel update. I haven't done one of these in a while and I think I should. So I'm working on book one and book two of my Yakuza Path series, which is a LGBT Japanese mafia story. Uh, I think last time I left you I was like applying to agents and working on book two and I kind of stopped really applying to a bunch of agents just because I'm kind of set on just like I'll just self-publish it. There is the DFW's Articon in April that I'm going to go to and I do have a pitch session set up because I figure well why not just give it a pitch and see how it goes. I did a bunch of research and listened to a podcast about how indie authors make more on online sales than traditional publishing which seems like a good Good thing and to do. So uh, in that case it was kind of more favorable to be a indie published than traditionally published. So I'm, I'm enjoying that. I've been working through the past two weeks have been like hard with my story but I changed up what I'm doing a little bit. Like I had this big plan, <laughs> which I probably showed you at one point or another, of having like three weeks of editing my book one, I'm almost done completely with it, and then uh, separating that between, so I would spend a week on it and then fix book two and then spend another week on it and fix book three, and that was just not uh, going the way I wanted it to, like I just wanted it to be completely done over with. So I'm going to spend all of April uh, doing the finer big structural changes, which is introducing one character sooner and adding little tidbits here and there and then I'm going to send it to my uh, copy copy editor uh, to look at and I'm really excited about her. I thought she was really good. I did send it to another one before but I didn't. I don't think I quite figured out the best time of one to send it to a copy editor and that's okay. Like I'm okay with this first book learning things. This first book is very much like a learning trial. Well I think the second book uh, I've already figured out when to bring an editor. So I'm hoping that um, after I get that shipped over in May and then she'll look at it and then I'll get comments probably towards the end of May and I could spend like one or two more weeks just getting that finished and then send it away to a proofreader once or twice because I am paranoid and I want to get all of my spelling mistakes and then I'm going to be done with it and then I'm going to set it aside and wait and work on book two. My my idea is to have uh, book one release and then at the end put, hey, why don't you pre-order book two which is coming out a few months down the road. So I'm trying mostly just to work on book two. I said last week was hard and it's actually been really, um, I say really hard, like I forgot how hard it was to fix the first draft. Uh, I was so used to fixing like the fifth draft and the sixth draft that when I got to this first draft, fixing it, I'm like, oh my, this is horrible. Especially like in that draft, like sometimes I put he and it's capitalized and then I change my character's name in the middle of the story, which is that I thought happened, but I actually found it. And I'm like, that's when you started calling Nanako, Nakano in a way. And I'm like, that's not his name stop doing that and um, I know people talk about like replotting. I haven't had a big replotness of the story. I've had a bunch of more like minor things added but um, it's it's really hard to fix this draft but I keep on telling myself that it's gonna get better each time so I have until the end of the month to get that all fixed up and stuff. So that's kind of where I am with the story so oh, I also am doing really good on my I'm going to go to my writers conference uh, I think something I did last year, which is I would schedule writing on writing workshop days where I go and, and I have my writing group, and I think that to me was probably detrimental because then I thought, well, I should be writing instead of going here. So now I just made it so those days are free. So I have one coming up this week that I'm going to go to and one next week, and there's also a writing workshop on Saturday that I'm going to. And that's about like uh, interviewing, how to speak properly if you're being interviewed, and maybe it'll help me with this 
video thing more, though the video thing I can take multiple takes on. <laughs> and then the DFW Writers Workshop, which is a different writing class who or group that's putting on DFW Con is doing this write block thing, so if you're in the Dallas area you should probably go to it. It's free, kind of, like you go at your restaurant and eat and someone talks about something. And I went to go the last time but I was having my photo shoot done. It was something. I was doing something last week that I couldn't get out of. And uh, that one was about something useful, like potty. <laughs> I think this one, this one coming up, is about like the do's and don'ts of going to brighter con. So that should be helpful. I'll bring my, my cards to hand out to people. And yeah, so that that's all my writing updates. If you want to hear something specific, I've been reading a lot of writing books. And I've been talking about those on my uh, wrap up videos, so if you want to check out those, I think my favorite one was Write, Publish, Repeat, which was just like mind changing, thinking, awesome to read. I think there's the sequel uh, in the sheet in something or other, um, but I'm looking forward to reading that too. I have a big stack of books to read, so I'm going to wait to read that later on. I don't think it's going to. Uh, so those were my updates. How are you doing with your writing? Are you getting on track with your goals? I think at the end of March or beginning of April I'll do a little check-in with Tamara and all the other write stuff people. Uh, so that was it. If you haven't already, you want to subscribe to our channel, check out writing and fashion and all kinds of nifty things like that. So until next time, bye bye.